Lacey has diabetes. Her blood sugar levels are too high. Dr. Parrott gives her long-term prognosis. Let's try the next three or four weeks. We'll talk, and we're going to try to regulate it orally. It's either that or you're going to lose your monkey eventually because it's going to kill her. The diabetes will kill her. For supper, yeah, tonight they're going to have carbs because we're having spaghetti. Okay. <laughs> but um, is it whole grain spaghetti? Mm. Whole, whole grain, or is it regular white no, spaghetti? No, it's the regular white tonight, okay. but I usually do, you know, the whole grain or the spaghetti. Audrey has a tough decision to make. Continue feeding them what they're used to and kill them with love or change. Um, I would not give her pasta tonight. I, I really would fill her up on anything you want, but not I pasta. I can give her salad. There we go. But that evening at dinner. Here we go. Here we go. Cleo. That's a spaghetti girl. How about some dressing? Mm. You like dressing. You would rather have the dressing and not the salad. Pasta for you. You've had enough. How about some salad? It has dressing. Here. I think you had enough of those too. No. No. <laughs> Sanctuary founder Carrie Bagnall runs Jungle Friends, a large primate sanctuary in Florida. Carrie knows firsthand the damage a human diet has on monkeys. We have a lot of diabetic monkeys. In the wild, of course, they don't get diabetes, but unfortunately, humans, and it's on, on the rise in humans as well, but they feed their monkeys junk. Here, Travis. They usually come in pretty bad shape. We've had them come in almost dead. So it's, yeah, it's really a, a tough thing to try to keep them alive. Nearly 120 monkeys live here now. There's a waiting list for many more, but the sanctuary is full. Seventy percent of them are expats, so the big problem we have right now are the expat problem. Monkey parents tend to dump their monkeys when they start biting. I have never had so many calls as I get right now for monkeys needing homes. Once they bite the kids or tear up the house or escape to the neighbor's yard and tear up the neighbor, they just want the monkeys gone. This is George, and George lives with Jill. Neither one of them have any teeth. Uh, all of their teeth were removed. They probably bit the wrong person. The monkey community uses alterations to make the monkeys less dangerous. I recommend that people al alter the monkeys. If they're going to have them in a family setting, please alter your monkeys. When you have small children, would you rather have a ripping, tearing bite, or would you rather have a bruise? It's up to you. Many vets refuse to remove healthy teeth from an animal, so members of the monkey community have to find vets willing to perform the operation. For wild primates, if you keep them as pets, there are several things that are done to mitigate some behavioral problems that in the wild are completely normal. Their canine teeth um, are pulled. Uh, they are often castrated and fixed like we do our domesticated dogs and cats. Although removing a monkey's adult canines lessens the damage they're capable of, the monkey can still be aggressive. 